Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how I do some of my photographing for eBay. I've got a sugar and coffee pot here. Um, so if, one of the things I would advise is that you've got just a plain carpet or whatever it's you're putting the item on and something plain behind. This is nice because it's wooden doors, beige carpet and always choose somewhere where it's really, really light because that gives the best photos. We've got down lighters in here, plus we've got a light over the bed, so this is why I always do it in here. It does go, do good pictures. Now, I do mine on my iPad, but you use whatever you have. I just find this easier for me. So I will take a full frontal picture first. And then with these is one of the top. Then take the lids off so they can see inside and also to make sure that there's no chips. And then I do the bottoms again so they can see that there's no chips. Or if you're selling something that's valuable, they might want to see the marking that's on the bottoms. Okay, and then I'll just do I'll do the backs and then the lids I'll do because they've got like a rubber seal around them so just so they can they can see those um, and then I might just do I might just do a close-up of one of each And then that's it, that's those done. That's just an odd couple that I have um, because we've moved in together. We've got two or three of everything. So we've just been selling everything that we don't need or want. I'm one of these people that if it's not used and we don't want it, it goes. I don't believe in keeping stuff just for the sake of it. Um, and I have these as well, which again, I haven't used for the last three years, so they might as well just go. So they're rather nice, so somebody might want them. So I just take the fronts again. I mean, obviously these are slightly marked, they have been used, but somebody might want them. I'm always amazed at what people will buy. And I like to reuse stuff, I don't just want to take it down the tip, I never do that. I mean, I will give loads of stuff to charity if, you know, if we can't use it or I don't want to sell it on eBay, I'll just give it to charity. If somebody can use it, then, you know, that's brilliant. That's the backs and then I'll just do the bottoms. I've actually got a little pad on, there's a couple missing off of that one. But... Always take what you can because you don't want people coming back and saying, oh, you know, those pads are missing off of there. Well, that's in the picture. That was what's shown. So, you know, just try and take what you can. You do get 12 free photos on each listing. So you might as well use those 12. You can't always, but, you know, if you can. And then I'll just do one of each. Somebody might want them for next spring, they are rather nice actually. I think they were, they were only cheap ones that I bought with a bulb in, but I haven't used them. So if somebody can use them, that's it. I think that's, that's probably all I can do on that one. And I'll just show you what they come out like. So in here, that's the first picture. They always come out well because of the lighting and that's the kind of picture that you want. You don't want a dark picture because people are more likely not to buy it and you don't just want one picture because people are more likely not to buy it. If they can see a few photos of what it is that they're buying, 
they are more than likely to buy it from you. Now, the other thing that I have <laughs> are these ceramic baking beans. I've been clearing out the cupboard and these, um, I found that these weren't mine. Um, must have been my partner's at some point. Um, but I haven't used them, I did keep them. I don't, I very often, I don't bake, I don't uh, make pastry. So again, somebody might want these. So main picture will be that one because it's got on there exactly what it is. And then um, I'll just take a picture of the information that's on there so that people can see. Exactly what they are, and then take a picture of them. Might be in there, and then maybe just put some like that so they can see. That's quite good. Okay, and I think that's it really for that one. Okay, so that's the, the photographing, and then. I will show you next how how I list them. Okay, so this is how you list an item. Uh, so you click on, well, I'm on the seller hub. So um, I click on create listing. Um, it might have list an item if you're still on the basic one. And then I will tap in. Ceramic baking beans, and it's brought up there. Home furniture, DIY, cookware, dining bar, kitchen tools and gadgets, kitchen utensils. So there's that one. There's also one with baking, cake decorating, other baking accessories. So I'll click on that one. So there you can see it's brought one up, but obviously it's a different brand, so I'm not. So you just click on continue without selecting a product. Come on. <laughs> there we go. And then you'll get the listing page. So in the title, I'll just... We've already got ceramic baking beans. Um, I need to just find if there is a name on here. The Kitchenware Merchants Limited. Okay, so if I put... The Kitchenware... Merchants. Oops. Limited. Um, I suppose there's not a lot you can say about these, really. Ceramic baking beans, kitchenware merchants limited. Always put the name if you can. Um, we've got a weight there actually. Net weight five hundred grams, one point one pound. We could put that in there. Grams. 1.1 pound. I mean, really, that's all you can put in. There's not a lot else. Um, and then a bit further down, you will have... I don't bother doing subtitles because sometimes you have to pay for it. I don't know what the custom label is. Condition, you need to put in so they're used. Condition description, I always put good condition. Oops. If it is, if something's got, I mean, if it's a pot and it's got a chip in it, then put good condition but has a chip. You know, always be honest and open because people will still buy from you. But if you send it out like that and you haven't mentioned it, then you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> So then I click on my photos, uh, we want those, so then we click add, and they will come up, sometimes they take ages, hopefully they'll be straight on today, 
we just wait for those to load. And then the other thing I've put on here in a minute in the photos is um, I do combined post and packing. A little photograph that I took, I'll show you in a minute. Also one of my second account and also one about the packaging. Um, so hopefully people will look at my second account because of that. And also know that if they want to buy something else that they will get combined postage. Sorry, this is taking, <laughs> it shouldn't do that. Okay, so this iPad is a bit old. <laughs> And that hasn't put them in order either, so I need that one there, so I will move. The one that's first is the one that will be your main picture on the listing, so always make sure that that one's correct. And then, as I say, the other things that I add on there are, um, I do combine postage, my second account, and about the packaging. They're just little hearts that I made. I wrote in the hearts and I took a nice picture of them. Um, eBay's never said anything to me about it. All I'm doing is advertising that I do combine postage and I'm advertising my second account. And by the way, you don't need two accounts. That was just kind of a mistake that I made in the beginning. Um, you can ring up or contact them if you want extra listings. And I, I had done that and then... I didn't have enough, so I went and opened a second account thinking that they wouldn't give me any more. Um, you can have as many accounts as you want. It's fine to do that, but you do need a, a different email for each account. So, But you don't need to have two accounts. That was just a mistake that I made. So I'll just show you. That is the I do combined postage if you buy more than one item. So I say it's just a heart that I drew, I wrote in it, and at the time when I lived in my other house, I had a heart wallpaper, so I just took it, I just stuck it on my blue tack and photographed it, and then that one is my second account. I did the same thing. Um, and then this one I've done fairly recently is all our packaging is recycled except the grey bags. Please reuse if you are able to. Thank you. So, I say, eBay's never said anything about about me doing that so it's just a little bit of advertising I guess they seem to be quite happy with it right in here it's got brands so again we'll just put kitchen merchant limited material it's already put that in there sometimes it will fill it in for you so just be aware of that and check it because it won't always put the right information in. Colour, I'm not really sure. I think they're grey, aren't they? I don't think that really matters, but we'll just pop it in. The more information you've got in there, as this blue circle goes round, um, kind of the better. Right, so in there we'll just put baking beans for type. NPM, we don't know what that is. That's just, I'll just put none in there. It's just some kind of code, isn't it? And custom bundle, that means, is it with something else? Well, obviously this isn't, so we put no. And as you've just seen there, that's so that's all the information that needs. That's nice, because that doesn't need much information. Sometimes it needs loads and it's annoying. So in there, again, we just put, um, uh, what was the whole... Oh yeah, ceramic. Ceramic baking beans. <laughs> because I've been typing that in, that's come up. Um, yeah, that's all we need to put in there, really. And then what you want for them. Um, I'm just going to put £3 
And then I always, always put an offer box on because you are more likely to sell something with an offer box. Um, it means that people don't have to wait. They can make you an offer straight away. You you don't have to accept, but um, sometimes people do offer you silly amounts. So obviously, in that case, you're not going to accept. But I have had quite a few people offer me more, more than what something is on for. So it's always worth doing. So I'm just going to stick those on. Starting price £3. Click this one. Automatically decline offers lower. So I don't want less than £2 really. Okay. And then we have to do the postage. So that's going to be... Um, about a kilo uh, that's on royal mail at the minute this this will be going by my hands so that will be other courier three to five working days is what i put on i'm using my hands uh it's not in the letter it is a oops in the package type you want to put package or thick envelope okay you don't need to put weight in all of that okay so that's about it for that one that's just really that's just an easy one and then at the bottom you should have list with displayed fees this one here so then you just click that and then it will submit the listing and then there you are it's done <laughs> So you can either click I've finished now or if you want to do another one, put click create new. If you've got something, whoops, sorry. If you've got something that is similar, then just if you click create similar, if you've got things that are the same, it will give you that listing that you have just filled in. Um, it may be, say, you've got the same three tops that are the same, but maybe they're just different colours. So that create similar is brilliant because it will bring up that listing that you've already filled in and then you can just change the colour. So there we are. Hopefully that gives you some sort of idea. Um, I will be doing more of these. Um, if you want to let me know, uh, you know, kind of what things that you want to know, that's absolutely fine. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe and share and I will see you very soon.